Kanzui, great to see you again, man. And thank you so much for joining us. Um, well, we're here, part two of the livery creation course. And uh, i got to say, man, last week, it was an eye-opener, as you called it last week, the boring stuff. Um, and that was about getting a setup of what programs we need. And everything's located in our Discord, uh, if anyone wants to follow along step by step. So what do you have for us this week? Well, we get to do some more interesting stuff this week. Um, so as you mentioned last week, we talked through the software, the plugins, saving as DDS files, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, during the week, I posted some links to that information in Discord, and I also set up some livery file templates for the MB339, Spitfire, and Comanche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's following along, feel free to download those. and. I've got one on my screen now, and this is what we're going to go through first. So what we're going to go through now is how to set up this file so that your livery will show in the sim. Nice. So that's the first thing we're doing, which is not overly interesting, but it's a task that needs doing. Sweet. Sounds good. So within the templates, what I've done is there are two words you'll need to replace. The word template and the word name, which is where you'll put your your gamer tag or whatever you want it to be mm -hmm. so for the purpose of this one just as an example um and this is so you can just follow along and change it in all the right places because there's multiple locations you need to change the wording i'm just going to copy this so i can just paste it for ease so what no did i call it template again that was silly <laughs> call it tutorial so that's what my livery is going to be called tutorial. Okay. So if I copy that, so once you've got your header folder done, you go in, you then have, I don't know if you remember these three files. Yeah. You'll see this one here. I'll go over this one in a second. We'll come back to this. Okay. So you want to go into your layout. Uh, no, ignore that. You don't want to go into your layout. You want to go into your manifest. And in your manifest file, you'll see here we've got template. So I'm going to change that to tutorial name. So you put your name in there. That's all you need to update. Nothing else needs updating in there. Okay. So you can close and save. Then you want to go into your sim objects, airplanes. And then you'll see we've got template here twice. So we're just changing this to whatever our livery is going to be called. Yep. Okay. And then go in the aircraft file. And then here again, there's some, um, the reason I'm going through this is really boring, but you can follow it back and then just follow along and just change all of the words template for whatever you're going to call your aircraft. Okay, so, so, one. so that's, that's purely getting the file and files structure pointing in the right direction. Exactly, exactly that. Save that one. Um, you don't need to do anything within these two files themselves. Okay. Because these all the names of the folders in the the files in here always stay the same. So we can go back. And that is that's that. That's your livery is now named. The sim will now search for the livery with that name. So when you go into your aircraft to pick your livery, you will see the name of whatever you called it. Now, Gibo mentioned this previously which is msfs layout generator so within the layout file this i went over last time it just tells the sim what files are in your uh livery folders so uh it might be the wings and the fuselage and these kind of things it's basically saying these are all the files in this folder now you can see here at the moment this says template so the old way, the way I used to do it when I first started, was you have to go through and update all of these template words for tutorial or whatever you're going to call your, uh, call your livery. Um, and if you add a new file, which we'll go over on next week about finding some extra stuff that we can change, mm -hmm. um, you then need to start typing in the path and size and date, and it gets very complicated. <laughs> Someone, don't know who, created this msfs layout generator you can find it online i'm not sure when uh, or where sorry and what you do is you grab your livery your layout folder folder document document your layout document 
and you drop it onto MSFS Layout Generator. There's a little pop-up comes up. You can't see it. It's on another screen. Mm -hmm. What that's now done is in here. This first file now says Layout Generator. That's fine. You can leave it there. It doesn't mean anything. But you'll see all of my files now say Tutorial. Oh, nice. It automatically did it. Yeah, so it does it already. And if you add more files, you don't need to point to them or anything. What that generator does is it almost looks in the files for you and populates this list. That's really with everything handy. it's called. If you forget to change these, and that still says template, when you load up in the sim, nothing will happen because the sim doesn't know where to look. So if you're ever working on a livery and you've done everything, you put your folder in your community file and then you load the sim and nothing shows, mm -hmm. go into these one of these files just ha that hasn't got the right name. That's all it is. So just going to have a look through and make sure you haven't missed something. Okay. And typically, so, how, how big are those files? Like, could they be massive, or does it depend on how many objects, if you like, are in the livery, in the textures? Yes. Okay. So all the all the all the scale is within this within this within this folder. Okay. So that's where all the size of the livery comes from. Um, mm -hmm. The more files you put in there, the more things you change, the larger that becomes. So they can become quite large. Mm -hmm. And also, the resolution you use can also have an effect. Um, and we'll talk about that next week as well, because what we'll talk about is if you've got a 2K livery, how do you make it a 4K livery? And what are the benefits, the downsides is the size. Okay. Um, so that's it on the file. So once you follow through all that, you can then drop, let me go back. You then drop this folder into your community file. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You're ready to go. That's all we've got to do on folders. Folders is over. Yes. Hey, huzzah! <laughs> So we've dropped that into your community file. Then we go, we go back to paint kits now, which okay. is much more interesting. So the one I'm going to work on for the demo is the Spitfire. So we had a quick look at this last week. Um, Murphy, camera. Yeah, I'm moving you now. Hang on. <laughs> I'm actually moving something I shouldn't. Say nothing. It's grand, right? Say nothing. Totally fine. Totally fine. Right. So we can see so, the old uh, stuff now, yeah? Excellent. So we had a quick look at this. Um, last week and we talked about paint kits uh, and the benefit of using one mm. so you can see what we've got here we went over the you know the the wireframe so it shows you the outlines of the outlines of the livery there was the multicolored, uh absolute amazing stuff and another shout out to cyrus t come it's got to be done these this is a this is on this livery this comes with the paint kit but normally you don't get one. But Cyrus T, the legend, made one. Look at that. And it's, it's ginormous as well. Um, so you can see all the little kind of letters and stuff right way in there. And is that per aircraft or will it work on any aircraft? Works on any aircraft. So you just go into your paint kit, you copy this, you paste it over the top, and you're away. No way. Awesome so stuff. This is very useful. So before I go on, I just want to show how useful this is if i can find give me a hip i'll get that over there i was just noticing You've... there you know when i moved your camera i'm technically metaphorically but virtually moving you closer don't be alarmed now do you know it's just would you would you like a cuddle <laughs> right <do you> know? <laughs> <laughs> so i've got some example photos these are liveries i worked on okay so just to show how useful this stuff is so you can see here, this is the back end of a, maybe an F-16. Anyway, it's not important. Uh, but what you can see here is there's a small section here, mm -hmm. and we can see that this is in pink color, and it starts with a two. Much easier to find. The inside of the exhaust is both yellow and red. We can also, if we go on to this one, this took me a while to find. So this is on the 33... Not important. I'm going to keep doing that, but it's not important. <laughs> so you can see th this bit when I was doing the livery and I wanted to black out the entire thing, there was this one big section that wasn't doing what I wanted and I couldn't find it. Mm. Pop this on. I know it's now 35 EG. So I go back to my livery, follow along, 35 EG. Oh, there it is. There's the thing I need to color in. That's so handy. This is the ATR when I started to have a look at this for a livery. Um, and this, this points to a a really um, 
we'll go over this in more detail next week, but one of the issues when you're trying to create a livery. So if down the side is aircraft, you just wanted a stripe, say you wanted a stripe, mm -hmm. you would follow along. If you follow these lines, you can see how it curves down and then there's all this weird wobbling stuff. Yeah. And then it goes in a different direction. So if you just go into the livery, into the paint kit, and do a stripe, it'll be all wobbly and wonky and all over the place. Right, right. But that's pretty so that's cool because that, that layer that you have turned on, that's loaded now on that texture file, when you turn yep. off that layer, that'll show what your livery is then underneath. That's the idea. Exactly. It's like exactly. painting by numbers. It is indeed. It is indeed. So what I tend to do if I'm struggling is I'll put this on the aircraft, I'll load into the sim, I'll take as many screenshots as I can of all the little details and every side and top bottom and all this kind of thing. So I've got it all in my screenshots mm. um, so that I could just go back and refer to it. Um, and then I did have one final one that you can even use it on <gasps> uh, passports. So this is the uh, Comanche. So you can see if we wanted to recolor, say, the ashtray. Why can't I zoom in? It's not letting me. Can't zoom in here. Anyway, oh, here we go. I can see that I need to go. I think that's 8FG, 9FG, 10FG. So I could find that and recolor it and put a logo on it or my name or whatever I wanted. That, I'm loving this because, like, when I'm, you know, I was looking at liveries and I was thinking, how, you know, are we going to get to that? But now that you have this paint by numbers thing, you can absolutely start somewhere small and just say, right, yes. I'm just going to do a thing with this. I love this. This is brilliant. Yes. So, um, and Cyrus T has kindly said I can share it. So I'm going to put this file, the image, in the livery Discord, and everyone can just download it and use it. He was very kind to say that. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I see Skipper Jeff trying to share the MSFS layout generator. Don't worry about it, uh, Jeff. We'll throw it in our Discord as well for anyone who wants to get it. But a uh, massive shout out to Cyrus T. That's huge, man. Absolutely. Huge. Super useful. Super useful. What a genius so, for making that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, agree. Agree. Um, so back to our back to our livery and our layers. We've got our we showed the wear and the bits you can turn on and off, mm -hmm. um, and our decals and so on and so forth. So I thought the first thing I'd do, the um what I would consider the the kind of easiest thing to do is a is a recolor. And this relies on a little bit of knowledge on using Photoshop or paint or whichever system you've decided to use mm -hmm. so if we took we can see here camo basic 101 that's the that's the camo layer so that's the one we want so if we click on that we could even turn the other ones off and out just get them out of the way so we know what we want to focus on so this is my camo basic layer okay you can then in um photoshop you can go to image adjustments and then there's a replace color so when you go and replace color, you can select, we we'll select the blue, and then you can use this at the bottom to change to whatever you want. That's and awesome. We want to up the saturation. We want to go for, a, I don't know, we like a bit of teal, don't we? So let's go for a bit of teal, brighten it up a touch. Okay. And then we want to go image, adjustments, replace color. Let's go for the green this time. That's so cool because, like, you're going to come across liveries that you might already like the design. You just want to mess around with the colors a bit, especially camouflage yeah. stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, you can just change this to whatever you like. Let's go for there. You go. Let's go for purple and teal. Look, that's lovely. So then, if we turn all the other stuff back on, we now have a purple and teal camo Spitfire. Sacrilege, but also very nice looking. You know what I mean? <laughs> So the one thing with the Spitfire, if you're working on the Spitfire, there are two files. So you also have a wings file. Mm -hmm. So whatever you change in the, if you're going to do a recolor, make a note of the sliders that were there. Let me just go to this a second. So these, these sliders that you're changing, just make a note of the numbers. So that's plus six, three. Just scribble that down. Then when you go to the wings, you can just copy paste. So that it matches. Gotcha. Because they're on a separate uh, a separate sheet. So once you've got this is this is effectively done. You could load this into the sim now and you would have a teal and purple spitfire. That's awesome. It's, that's it. So let's go on to the 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 DDS and let's talk about um 
this is something Gibbo raised, which is a, 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 an absolutely fair point. When you save a file as DDS, it compresses all these layers together and saves as a saves as a almost like a JPEG. So, and you'll make this mistake. I've done it loads of times. Always make sure you save over the paint kit first in a Photoshop format so you keep the layers. Okay. Because once you've saved as a DDS, if you press close, you've lost all your layer information and you can't then, you have to start again, effectively. So always, just always make sure when you save the first time, you save it as the Photoshop file or, you know, whatever the file is with the layers on it before you then save as a DDS. Okay. So once you've done that save, um, the save as a DDS, very simple. File, save as, where's my box? There it is. Then you go into your community. You would find your livery file. So mine is called Bitfire something. Tutorial. It? Tutorial, here you go. Yeah. So you go Spitfire Tutorial, Sim Objects, Airplanes. And then you want to go to this texture file. And normally, it would it would show blank like this. In this save as type, you pick your DDS, your Intel. In my my example is Intel TextureWorks DDS, mm -hmm. and then you click on whichever the file is. Don't accidentally save the fuselage as the wings because that will <laughs> just the sim will have a, a bit of a moment. So you click on the file, press save, and when you do that, uh, I'm not going to do it this time. Let me do it with this one. Hold on one second. Save us. Once you've done it once, it goes straight to the file. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Community. Doo -doo. So, I want to save this one over the wings. Press save. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. And then you'll get this little pop-up. So this is the pop-up you get with Intel TextureWorks. You might get a different one with Photoshop or if you're using something else. Um, I don't know what any of this means. I just press OK. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then it goes away. The only okay. thing I do know, um, if I do that again very quickly, is if you, and when we'll talk about this next week when we start talking about the other files you can start to mess with. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this layer has no transparency. It's all colored in. If you have something with transparency, you've got a color plus alpha option. Okay. That's that's the only thing I've ever changed in this box. Okay. Is color or color plus alpha. And that's it. Then you load up the sim and you go and fly your new livery. That's 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 a repaint effectively of uh a livery. That's awesome. So I see a question there from uh from Hulk. He's saying, I have a livery or no, I want a livery on a Cessna 162, 152, 162. Um but I don't know how to, and I need to learn how. This, tune in and watch this. All these tutorials, by yeah. the way, lads, these will all go up on YouTube as well. So don't worry if you miss out. I'm going to, each episode, they're going to have their own name, a number or whatever, and I'll, I'll create a playlist on YouTube when the series is complete. And you go back and, well, not even before, I'll, I'll do it the weekend. I just need a couple of days. I'll start uploading them onto YouTube so you can follow them step by step, right? Um, Skipper Jeff also saying there, before you start, if you want... Uh, do a backup of the aircraft first. Just in case something goes wrong, just do a backup of the aircraft, keep it on your desktop. If you do make a mistake, yep. then you can revert, which is handy. Yes, always worth a backup. And I also, um, with the paint kit, I always keep the the paint kit somewhere else and then move it and rename it and then work on that because then you can always just go back and if you have saved over the top of it or whatever it is. <laughs> um, okay. So... Uh, then I was going to talk about adding images and, you know, fun things like that. So if you want to change the livery completely, you can obviously, rather than doing a recolor, mm -hmm. you could paint over the top. You could color it, you know, all blue or whatever you want to do. Just use your imagination. If you want to add images, I've got a couple here. I've got a little Firefly logo. So I'm just going to copy this layer. I'll do it this way. Where's copy? I don't know. I'm just going to press Control C. That's what I always do. Um, and then you paste it in. And then let's say we want that to go 
I do this sometimes as well. With a, with a livery, lining things up can be the most annoying thing you try and do <laughs> and the most time-consuming. So if there's a livery, say this one, and you can actually use what's already there yeah. before you take it off, time saver, yeah. time saver. Yeah. So let's say we want that there. We want another one, so let's paste another one. And I would just want to rotate this. These are the rotate controls for uh, Photoshop. Have you seen me massive spots as well? Look at these. No, I tell you, absolute I, 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 beauties. I, I have I have beauty mode on the cameras. You know, that's that's good. Those camera shirts. You know, you have to turn up the LED. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, you can't see it. Somewhere. I'd have some as well, but you know. Oh, they're terrible. Uh, right. Anyway, so let's say let's say we want two Firefly logos there. Um, so that could be your logo, your gamer tag, whatever you want. You can paste that in there. Now, what you'll see is these two are right at the top. What that means is they're over all the dirt layers, the decals, all that kind of stuff. Mm. So all you have to do is select these and just figure out. So the, the way the layers work is in the top one shows first. So you're just moving these down underneath the other layers, under the dirt, under that kind of stuff. A good thing to look for is um, the, the decals. So where the decals are, you want it somewhere around there. So on this one, I'll actually put it in the middle, and there's a reason for that. And that's because this top one, if I zoom in, see this little right in here? Oh, yes. That's the, that's the right in, and I actually want that to go over the top. So, there we go. I've got my logos on, and they've got the dirt, you know, over the top of them. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want something else in there. I've got a nice little pion pion, little bullet hole. Nice. Been in the walls. 3D stuff can look good and bad. So this is a good idea, but a bad idea because it's a, it's pasted on as 2D. So when you look straight at it, looks fine. Go to the side, meh, doesn't look so great. <laughs> yeah. So let's say I want to uh, pop that in there. Though let's pop that. I don't know, over here somewhere. Pop it on the oil cap. Big problems. Could I have to actually erase the oil word. And just imagine there. the crack you're going to have with this because I mean you could just put anything in, anything at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Exactly. So I've got those two things on. So now I want to take off, you know, the old the old decals. So I'm just going to turn those off there. There we go. So now we've got a Spitfire with the FFA logo and a little bullet hole. I love it. So again, save the Photoshop file, then save as a DDS. Mm -hmm. So you do that. Then you're loading up MSFS and having a look. And you will spend... So I've got I've a point... The next, the next point on my list is called... Check, update, save, repeat. Check, update, save, repeat. Check. <laughs> when you when you open the sim, it loads the livery files once, right at the start. Okay. So when you go in and look at the aircraft, you would hope that when you go back to the menu, make changes, save it over the top, reload the aircraft, it shows the new... It doesn't. It doesn't. So when you're doing... So you saw in the ATR how the the panel lines were all kind of wavy. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to line that up. You move it by two pixels. Save it. Save as a DDS. Close Photoshop. Fire up the sim. Wait half an hour for it to load. Oh, dear. Go into the world map. Load your aircraft into an airport. That loads up. Get out. Get the camera. Go around. Oh, no, it needs another three pixels. <laughs> Exit. Close the sim. Open the paint kit. Make the pixel change. Save, save as DDS, close Photoshop, open the sim, wait 30 minutes. You have to just, that's the, that's the check, update, save, repeat. I haven't found a way around it. I and really, it... really feel, well, do you know, can you, you wouldn't just like make the <laughs> smallest little adjustment of that and you're like, yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, yeah. man alive, yeah. isn't it huge, isn't it? It takes, it takes, that's, that's what takes the time. Doing this bit, really simple changes like this, mm. easy, quick done especially if you can align it to something that's already there so when you want to do more complicated things like the the swooping lines on the comanche or do you know what was on the on the comanche actually let me let me find the paint kit because i'll just i'll just show you this one because this one was um uh but i have to say like wouldn't it be so handy if there was an option in dev mode just to reload oh, deliveries be, you know what i mean it would be amazing it'd be amazing <laughs> so right this is just loading up hopefully it doesn't crash my pc 
I decided not to try and load the sim, Murph, like I told you I was going to. That's a good, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not what I want. Why's, why's that done that? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let me do it this way. Oh, you have layers turned off, maybe. Uh, no, the main one's on there. Did, uh, see the wireframe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the wireframe shows me. So, Comanche wireframe is really useful, by the way. So you'll see here we've got one side, the roof, another side. Mm. Um, so you can see where the door goes up and over. You've got the bottom of the aircraft. You've got both sides of the tail. Um, so it's, it's all laid out really well. And the wings are on the same one, nice. top and bottom. So it's really handy. Um, now, the annoying thing about the Comanche, at the front, just before you get to where the prop is, there is an extra, you'll see it here, it looks like a shark mouth. So you see this? Mm -hmm. So you'll see on the stripes on the Comanche, the teal ones that go, and they wrap around this. Yes. Trying to get that line up was a nightmare. I can imagine. Absolute nightmare. Because getting it to the front of the, 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 the front of the airframe here and kind of drawing it down here, across, and here was <laughs> fine. Yeah, no problem. Um, trying to get it to line up on this bit was, yeah, right, Peyton, because you've also got, so you'll see there's a gap here mm. where it kind of, this is where the, the front folds in towards the engine. Mm -hmm. And these two lovely pieces here over on their own go in here. Oh, lovely. So you have to come up with some weird shapes and <laughs> all sorts of stuff to try and get it to line up. It's, yeah, that was, that took, must have been at least eight or nine loading of the sim oh. to get that lined up and working. Ouch, ouch. Um, so we're, we're right in saying, like, even if, you, if you're in dev mode and you're in the Comanche and then you use dev mode to load a 172 and then you update your livery for the Comanche, load back into the Comanche with dev mode, it still won't pick up that livery. I mean, it needs a full sim restart each time. Yes, I wish, I wish there was a way. And if someone, if someone finds a way, shout about it, tell me, please. Mm -hmm. It saved me all sorts of pain. Um, but yeah, as yet, I haven't found one. It only does it on the initial load of the entire sim itself. Mm -hmm. um, right. So just on this, uh, I, did, I was going to load into the sim to show everyone, but I did that earlier because my PC has been playing up. So here is oh, look. Uh, what we just made. What a bullet hole in everything. So there's our, there's our Spitfire, little bullet hole at the front, TTM logo at the back. Love it. Love it. That's so cool. It's like, it's, you're making your own liveries, like, and do you know what? That's like, okay, we've identified some aircraft files are difficult. Some are not as difficult, but yes, for the sake of a very quick, um, oh, look at this. Got friends giving a shout. Open any project. Go into the aircraft editor. Resync. We'll resync all the files in the community folder. Just make sure you rebuild .json first. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, got friends, this is huge news. This could like, Jesus. This could save lots of time. This could accelerate all sorts of livery creating processes. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you do me a favor though? Just don't tell Merv how to do it until he's finished his livery. No, 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 no. I'd be like, I'd be all, oh, I've made 10 liveries there in the last week. What do you mean you only did one? <laughs> but yeah, um, no, and any advice, like, well, like we said it before, like, Kanzui self thought, I mean, you came up with this yourself, and I know Cyrus has given you a, a huge helping hand, but yes. I mean, you, you've pretty much figured this one out for yourself, you know? Yeah, and this is where, so the, the, the purpose for this is you can get lost in this for hours. So the idea of doing these few short courses is to give you the very basics of how it works and mm. how to get things lined up. Um, once you've done that, then you can start to get really creative about, you know, full scale changes and, you know, whatever it is you want to do. That's where the time takes. But making small, simple changes is 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 pretty quick. Um, that's about all I've got for this one. So I don't know if there's any 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 questions on anything I've covered just for a couple of minutes. Yeah, then, yeah. Anyone uh, there in the chat, guys, if you have questions about. for Kanzui, start, start asking there now. Um, just while I have you, Kanzui, so Jonks, digital, digital Jonks from Got Friends, uh, we hit him up after the stream. He'll uh, explain to us how to do that. Ah, excellent. Excellent. Not until Murphy's done his livery, though. Yeah, just just show Kanzui. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> It'd be fine. You know. But, uh, right, so a recap. I mean, basically, 
Part one was about what files we need. There's a freeware option and a payware. If anyone has Photoshop, fairly quick, yep. you have to get this other uh, file that'll allow you to create DDS. Uh, the layout generator, the yeah layout generator, will link that back on Discord for you guys as well. Um, and yep. a huge shout out to Cyrus T for for sharing that kind of paint by numbers grid that you can put over all the different layers, uh, which is awesome. Yes, very um, helpful. And then tonight, a simple thing like changing the color temperatures. If you want to, if you like the design already, you can just edit the colors. Uh, and then we just had a look now at adding in your own images. Uh, now, does it does it? It shouldn't matter if it's a JPEG or a PNG or a vector, should it? No, no, it doesn't matter. So I tend to use a PNG because if you can, uh, so for example, this this logo has no background. If you use a JPEG. And you put in a square image, you're yeah. going to end up with a square image on the side. But if that's what you want, you know, if you've got a square logo, that's absolutely fine. Um, Have you two so, yeah, dogs? I, yeah, with, this is this is this is Milo. Um, Milo's five months old, uh, and we got him three weeks ago. That's I was saying he's the problem for me. Stress spots. <laughs> saying that's his fault. Yes, brilliant. Um, <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Um, dog two has entered the game. Absolutely. Uh, what do you do if an aircraft doesn't come with a paint kit? Tune in next week. Oh, nice! We, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, next week is, is about all the additional files we can find and work with and things you can do if there's no paint kit. Um, just as a spoiler alert, it's hot. It's, it's no fun. Um, and it's a compromise at best. So, uh, But yeah, we'll go over that next week. Nice, nice. Um, Sharding says, I think most graphic programs lets you throw a grid... Uh, onto an image for editing stuff that'll help lining things up. Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. Yeah, agreed. Uh, it's super. And uh, as I said, each of these episodes will upload them there onto YouTube. So if you're watching us in the future, hello from the past. Um, it was raining this <laughs> night that we made this video. And uh, yes, it was. It was. Uh, well, a Windows uh, update broke my PC. Right, all the time. But uh, no, can I tell you, it's excellent because so like you've made it. You've kind of taken a lot of the mystery and sorcery out a little bit because. From simply just changing the color scheme and throwing on your own uh, logo, it's a fantastic starting point before you get into you know Bob Ross territory of happy little shapes and sizes and do you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so I love it. I love it. And I, th I think that's what I was saying on the on the first one is once once you've got the basics of creating a livery, it's mm. quite actually the actual creating the file and getting into the sim is is quite a simple process. But it's the design that is still the hardest bit and takes the longest time. What looks good, where the lines go, what shapes do you use, what colours you're going to use. That's still the that's still the the most difficult bit is trying to get the design right first. Which is why, like I say, if I'm if I'm going to do a livery livery for something, mm -hmm. I tend not to even start on paint kits and things. I tend to get some screenshots and then I've got an iPad and just start scribbling on it, to see what looks good. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Someone needs to make a Bob Ross delivery. Oh, there will be. Don't worry. There'll be, be a happy Bob <laughs> Ross on the tailplane for sure. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, a quick, another quick one just before we let you go. By adding yeah, yeah, an image, I imagine it's the same thing if you wanted to add, for example, a text box. If you just wanted to put some font along the side of the aircraft, you can either add them as an image or just create a text font across it. Right? Yes. 100%. Nice. So if I, if I on, on Photoshop, if I've got the text box... Oh, it was loading for a little bit there. Don't know how large this is going to be. Ah, oh, that's probably big enough. So if I do Murph has grey hair. No, let's maybe move that down a bit. We don't want it, we don't want it not lined up. Sorry, you're breaking up there, Kanzui. The picture's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that would now be written in nice big letters down the side of your uh, down the side of your livery. So yes, add in add in letters, words, that kind of stuff. Is is that simple? What I would say is, depending on which side you're adding, that you have to think about the kind of perspectives of the font versus the livery. So if I was going to put this up here, I'd then need to start flipping it the other way. Otherwise, it'd be rear, yag. Yeah, yeah, it's just sa, it'd be upside down perfect. and all sorts. <laughs> so, but I think I think what you can do is if I let's copy paste that. I think if I do the. Uh, Will it do it? Where's the things? Oh, there's some things there. I don't even know where they are. But yes, you can you can flip it around and uh then that would that would read properly. Because if you put it like that, that's not good. That's not gonna work. Okay. It'd work if you looked out the window. You know, the spitfire. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. No, that's awesome. I can't wait for next week. Now we're going to learn loads. And uh, this has been this has been for me. This has been deadly because it's removed all the head scratching moments that I had. Because I was like, how do we go from you know getting the tools of the job uh, to actually doing the thing? And you, you've made a very, I think easy introduction to uh, just change some colors and throw on a picture save the file as its native file first and then save it as your dds and then away you go into the sim and once once you get the file structure correct at the start with that layout generator it'll keep picking up its own so any updates it, exactly. it just knows where it is it's awesome yes yes exactly nice dude that's been absolutely awesome thank you very very much indeed for your time no worries at all and then uh, like i say next week is more about there's some more uh, complex things so this is the simple things so we'll start to look at some of the other files and where to find them and things we can mess about with um, and then and after that that's about it so I've got we've got some more time just to do a kind of wrap up and a summary of the full stuff mm -hmm. uh, if we need it um, but yeah we should be you know after after these two sessions hopefully you'll be able to uh, set up a livery and, and get it in the sim so if you do get get, get some screenshots I'd love to see it oh what we're going to do once we all know how to make liveries, we're going to have a livery competition, see? And uh, we'll vote nice. for the livery or liveries and the winners will have theirs posted on our website and they'll be available for all to download. And we'll throw in some prizes as well. So we'll do a something at the end of this. Of course we will. We'll have to do a big nice. something. So uh, anyone who's... who Just give it a shot, lads. Like, I, I, you know, when we started, uh, you know, the, the ATC course, there was a lot of... Uh, I'm not doing that. And suddenly we got people doing it. It's it's the same with this. It's something that we all kind of wanted to know, but now we can. We just spend a bit of time in it. So hopefully the YouTube videos will help you as well. And don't forget, keep an eye on our Discord. That's where Can See We has the channel with all the relevant information. And if anyone's stuck, just drop us a DM or just put it into general help and support uh, and we'll get you sorted there. <laughs> we'll get you sorted there. I just wanted well. to line that properly. Yeah, yeah, it looks very good. Yeah, 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 <laughs> looks right, right. Uh, but anyway, listen, uh, Kanzibi, thank you very, very much indeed, man. That's that's no awesome, absolutely awesome. Perfect. Speak to you soon. Take care, man. All the best. <laughs>